In this video, I'm going to walk you through creating a subnetting cheat sheet. The process is pretty easy and it should only take you a few minutes to reproduce this on paper. The first step is to create a grid with three columns and 14 rows. Then label the columns bits, block size slash exponent, and decimal mask value. In the bits column, start with the number 0 and count up to 12. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. For the block size slash exponent column, begin at 1 and double each row all the way down. So 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, 128, 256, 512, 1024, 2048, and 4096. Finally, for the decimal mass column, start at the row parallel to 128 in the block size column and enter the number 128. From there, we take the value in the previous row and add it to the next value in the block size exponent row. In this case, we'll take 64 and add it to 128, which equals 192. Then 32 and 192 is 224, 224 and 16 is 240, 240 and 8 is 248, 248 and 4 is 252, 252 and 2 is 254, and finally 254 and 1 is 255. If you are studying for your CCNA or CCENT, you will receive a dry erase board at the testing center. We recommend creating this cheat sheet on the board as soon as you sit down to take the exam. Even if you're already tough at subnetting, the cheat sheet can reduce errors and helps keep things clear in your head.